thank God that he gives us the power to. But we must do. He gives us the power to. But we must do. Too often we seem to miss it. We pray and fast and believe in God that he will give us the power. That he will make it happen. Yes, he is ready and willing to make it happen. He will give us the power. But we must do the work. It will not happen without his power, nor will it happen without our action. We must work together with God. So when Hannah prayed in the temple and the high priest Eli saw her and spoke to her and found out her desire. He prophesied, he gave her the word that she would bear that son. But Hannah had to go home, go in the tent, and make it happen. If she did nothing, that prophecy would wait in abeyance. And it would come to naught because she did nothing. The Lord promised Abraham to bless him bountifully. But Abraham had to work. He had to strategize. He had to get servants. He had to take care of the sheep. He had to do it. God gave him power, but he had to. The Lord promised Joshua. He said, anywhere you put your foot down, it's yours. He says, know that I've given you the land. But they had to fight. Joshua had to lead Israel into battle after battle after battle to possess the promise. Yes, the Lord gives you the power, but you must do. The scripture says that he is the one who gives us power to gain wealth. But the scriptures also say that it is with good planning and hard work that we will gain wealth. The Lord gives you the power, but you must do. It will not happen without your action. It will not happen without your effort. It will not happen without you doing your part. So let's not blame or charge God foolishly. He has given you the power but you must act upon it. Remember, faith without works is dead. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.